Hello guys, welcome back to Ventilate. So guys, one of you has asked for the next video to show my skill tree. So here it is guys, um, I'm good. If you want to, you can definitely pause this um, and then you can slowly have a look at it and see where you're at. So I have about 8,147 skill books and let's my pet side, the warlord side, sorcerer, uh, rogue, Oh, sorry there we go too fast rogue and alchemist so there you go guys hopefully that's a little bit helpful um and hopefully you can get something out of it i'm not very sure what you're going to get out of it but hey I'll, I'll give it to you but one thing i would tell you is that at the later stage when you have a lot of skill tree um points i did max out my forbidden contract terrifying pack and the royal contract that way i get a lot more damage and a lot more gold is it the right thing to do maybe not optimization would definitely tell you there are better ways to get higher but i do have a heavy emphasis on contract because i feel like contracts are just absolutely amazing they are just so much more powerful they help you push a lot further and it just does a whole lot more damage so that's just my opinion uh, if you think not uh, obviously that's fine too you just gotta figure out what's best for you all right guys let's move on to the 18 abyssal tournament which is what we're waiting for this week okay let's get into it metabolic growth guys metabolic growth this is one of the best one of my favorites because i do really enjoy heavenly strike it's just such a beautiful beautiful animation i think it's probably one of the best animation i've seen out there and oh yeah by the way guys if you want to follow this definitely uh pick this up uh have this a go if you haven't known anything please 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 do me a favor jump on discord and join orca okay if you don't know where orca is at just have a look at reddit and reddit definitely has orca in it guys do not miss out on a farm while well, i was still new farm level 10 i'm not sure what kind of differences they're gonna come in the future when it comes to abyssal tournament because it is starting to get a lot easier to fight because people are starting to find out how to use um, abyssal tournaments to farm what they need to do no one's really trying to compete for level one anymore i mean there are always going to be people that will because you know they will they high achievers they got a kobe mindset they just want to get it right so someone is definitely still trying to get there because at the end of the day it is what it is right so they just want to get that however i would definitely say guys that this is not just the only thing that you have to concentrate on um you, you really need to figure out other things as well um it, because at the end of the day you just gotta farm level 10 for now and whatever comes in the future use it but we're not very very sure what will happen after this all right guys so hopefully that's a little bit of a helpful position to start with and hopefully this is going to be able to help you get towards what you have to all right so let's get into it just like all the other ones i'm going to show you how i start okay once i show you how to start then it's going to kind of make sense with exactly what you want to do first and foremost i, I love my swipe guys by the way uh power of swipe doom make it rain adrenaline rush this is a must. Do not want to skip this because this is going to give you a whole lot more, whole lot more speed, and it's going to be a lot faster. Okay, so yeah, hit the uh, pads. Always select the lowest, whichever you have first, as in as in the bottom. Use that. Use the lowest out of all of them, and then just double check. Uh, tap or uh, yeah, jackpot, baby. That's what I want. All right, and then first and foremost, discover all 24 that you can. You may want to do one or not because that is still 21,000 out of 23,000, so I wouldn't do that. Uh, let me get this. Nope, nope, nope. Splash, nope. Uh, and highlight the ones that's going to help you in the long run, okay? Critical strike, that's going to be part of it. Twilight, I'm pretty sure, yep. Twilight boost. Crank. Oh wow, I want a heavenly sword. <laughs> of course it is, boys. All right, there you go. Now that you got that, all you have to do, max out your book of shadows. 
don't even worry about anything else because it is what it is it's not going to make a huge difference all right and so yeah guys you just want to keep swiping 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 just get this going okay and look how fast that speed is okay we're up to like what five thousand and six thousand will be the next max stage all right let's get into it let's not waste any time let's keep going come on guys catch up catch up okay how many okay 117 i'm gonna take my weapons i'm gonna have 100 to choose from uh 800 no not time yet 158 i do need to splash though okay i'm gonna keep the splash with this bad boy mana boost because it's gonna help a lot jackpot correct gunblade and tap out a crit critical okay sweet let's keep going let's not waste any time keep going and one of the things is guys you don't have to actually buy any of the things at the bottom with mana just use the fairies because the fairies come in so quickly you, you don't need to actually spend anything at the bottom so don't waste your time at the bottom just use the fairies that are coming true and just keep farming it and instead of just swiping like this right across the entire thing just swipe in the middle and just let them all start coming so it starts to trickle down and it will make your life a whole lot easier this way okay I'll be pretty sure I'm close to the uh, next level. What's that? How many do we have at the bottom? Uh, 64, 64. Always keep an eye out for your equipments, guys, because equipments are huge. They're gonna do you a whole lot more favor. Okay, see, I'm not really moving that fast anymore. I'm not gonna worry about that. Who cares? Move on, okay? Don't get stuck to one spot. Don't get stuck to equipments because. You gotta be going through this game very, very fast. So there's really no point getting hung up on stuff. But I would do want at least rare. I don't wanna be choosing off the uh, random stuff that doesn't have much in it. All right, bang, 136 more. That's gonna help a whole lot. And let's go to the next thing. And Okay, 400. Okay. Two, four, four, four. I'm gonna get a little bit more here. Uh, okay, cool. Bang. Get a little bit of pets. I know a lot of people begin asking, you're not even doing a pet build. Why are you even doing this? Because this actually increases a lot of uh, damage. You just gotta remember that things are better off spread out than not being spread out because they're gonna help you in the long run, okay? And since we maxed out on our book of shadows look at that 17 new items bam, bam, bam. all right what else do we have heart of stone heart storms that's going to be important for us oh this is so powerful okay done so go back into it formula no nope, no thank you so instead of trying to 25 percent on book of shadows and five percent of the rest you want to hit that maximum just click it until there's nothing left Hit the mighty chest, so you're gonna be able to get some equipments from it. Delete anything you don't need. Discover another six more items. Exotic, fundamental, yes, I need the fundamental. Bang, bang. Now you do the 25, five, run, okay. 25, five, run. And this is gonna spread all your damage out drastically. I think a lot of people don't realize when it comes to this game, it's not you don't want to buy everything on one thing. You want to spread it out, and then after you spread it out, there's certain things that are going to be helpful, certain things that are not going to be helpful, okay? So you just got to remember that part of the game as well, okay? So spend your mana on things that matter, like right there. The rest of it, who cares, right? It's just going to keep coming, so you just want to keep swiping, keep hitting, and just keep progressing. Next stage should be 8,000, which we're not too far off. And we forgot about equipments. You do want to get Treasure Hunter. Why would you want Treasure Hunter? Because it does give you better equipments and it's going to take about three times opening up the chest before you're going to be able to get anything. However, it is definitely worth it. Okay, two trillion, I can't say no to that. Splash, Mythic, Bang. Um, but nope, there's nothing. Critical strike, done. Sweet. 
And the thing is that you might be asking, why would you get rid of your legendary? Why would you get rid of your mythic? Because at the end of the day, when you get rid of it, you're gonna get a lot more diamonds. With more diamonds, you're gonna be able to get the next chest even faster. So don't think too short term, you gotta think about it in terms of, sorry, you do wanna think of it as short term, you don't wanna think of it as a long term thing. Because if you think of it long term, just the way you normally play it, you're gonna lose in this tournament. This tournament is about the next thing, you just gotta keep increasing, 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 and bang, get out of that space and just keep going. So yeah guys, this is what I'm gonna show you, uh, and then you just gotta keep going. This is gonna be a long ass video, but I do wanna show you exactly how you can do runs and how to be successful. Just rinse and repeat the same thing, and then just work around a skill tree, join Orca, and you're gonna win this, guys. All right, thank you all very much for watching. Uh, if you got any more suggestions, drop a comment. I'll show you whatever you need, give you whatever you want, okay? And I'll see you at the end of the AT, guys. Catch you all later. Bye-bye.